Hi, I'm Turbo Tim. Tyler, ZZP. And we're here to do an in-car video of how to properly remote tune a car. Um, first step would be uh, getting in the vehicle, um, flashing the vehicle if you have a file from us to flash, and then um, safely placing the laptop somewhere. Now, I fortunately have Tyler to hold the laptop so he can hold it. It's not gonna fly off if something happens. Yep. Um, he can look at it and tell me if he sees any flashing red things like coolant temp and KR and stuff. Um, but uh, otherwise, I usually will just place it in the passenger seat. And I actually use the seat belt a lot to hold the laptop in place because let's say you slam on the brakes, last thing you want is a dent in your dash or a broken laptop. <laughs> um, but um, please, I beg you, do not do not look at the screen while driving. Like, don't do that. Yeah. You can cause an accident, like, you like so bad. You hit a curb, I mean, who wants to hit a curb with their sweet wheels because they were looking over at the screen that they probably most likely don't know what they're looking at anyway. Yeah, if you want to go do a watt pull and then pull over and then stop the log and take a look at it, not a bad idea. You know, if you think that, you know, you, you're, you're looking for KR. That's pretty, that's a average term that most people know. Um, and if you want to see and make sure that everything was good before you do a longer log, not a bad idea. Yep. But if you're driving on the road and looking over like this, you're going to start swerving and you might hit something. So, yep. Yep. Hit something, somebody, bad times. Bad times. Um, so, first, you want to start with uh, changing your channels. Yep. Um, most likely, Al, Matt, or myself sent you channels with your um with your your file this, this yep first you open your scanner little lightning bolt open it up go to recent channel configs look open channel config if we emailed you this file the default location will be downloads so you click downloads boom ltg channels this is a camaro so ltg open that sets all the sensors that we need in the scan on the left side of the screen, um, which are crucial. Now, there are also gauge layouts that we may send you if, if by request. Um, that is the gauge appearance of the screen, which is uh, not really that important unless you're actually adjusting your file. Yep. So now next, the car is not running. So now I'm gonna start the car. The car is running. Click this little button here called Start Scanning. Give it a few seconds, it's connecting to the car, you know, determining what the car is, connecting to the channels. Now we're good to go. There we go. Secure your laptop with either your passenger or the passenger seat with a seat belt. Put the car in drive. Uh, there is no such thing as a scan that's too long. Like, do not worry about the scan being too long. The scan could be two hours, I don't care. Like, more info, the better. Yeah, if you're driving to work in the morning and your commute is half an hour, and 15 minutes of it is just cruising at 70, that's fine. We can see down below where the higher points are at, and we can just scroll right along. So, don't worry about it. First, you wanna start with just a normal light acceleration. Uh, this is to fill in the fuel trims based on airflow. So a nice light cruise, maybe maintain speed for a while, and then we'll have you do like a medium acceleration, like let's say a half pedal, or like maybe just below half pedal. Basically the same reason, you know, at a higher load, the fuel trims are determining what the perfect air fuel is. We look at the fuel trims and then we adjust the file so the fuel trims don't have to do as much. And especially if you're tuning in an automatic car, uh, shift points are huge. It can make or break how your car feels. Yep. Uh, you know, even as simple as a 3800 with a 4T or on up to the Camaro with the 8-speed. If your part throttle shift points are really lazy or if it's hanging in a higher gear, it might not be as fun to drive. Yep. So the more information you can get, the better. Okay, we coincidentally have a stoplight, so we'll just go ahead and go to a stop here. And then since I took off light back there, I'm gonna take off and, you know, do like a half throttle pull. Okay, 
and this can continue on for a very long time. Drive as long as you want, but now we're gonna get to the part to where you go full throttle. Uh, this part, we generally, if, if you have an automatic, I would put the car in sport mode and turn your traction, traction control off. Just slow right down to the speed limit. Don't coast, slow down. Um, we generally like to have, you know, let's say you're a four speed car, um, we'd like to have two gears of full throttle. Um, if you're a six speed car, three gears of full throttle. If you're an eight speed car, you know, three or maybe four. Um, the reason we like to have a few gears of full throttle is because obviously you want your shift points to be optimal. So you want, like, the more full throttle shifts I get, um, the more I can dial in the shift RPM. And I do not need top speed runs. I do not need um, four full throttle runs in one scan. All I really need is like one of two, three, four gears of full throttle, depending on how many gears you're transmission has. Yeah. You don't need to be doing 40 to 150, back down to 40, 150, especially if you're an LTG car, that's how you're going to blow it up. So don't do that. Uh, I mean, yeah, especially like if you're on like a first revision or something, like you just have like a mail order tune. Your first file is just a mail order tune. And then based on your, your first scan, your second, your third scan, every scan the file is going to get better. Yep. And then you're a little safer to go full throttle. But I mean, just for your driver's license as well, like, you know. Don't get arrested, dude. Yeah. Uh, and that's one of the biggest things that a lot of customers miss is they think that their first file is the tune. And we, the way that we dial them in is by revisions. Yes. So you'll get more boost, you'll get different shift points, you'll get fuel trims dialed in, you'll get better fuel economy. Um, you know, not that we really care about that, but uh, yeah, it, it can sometimes take six, seven, eight revisions to really get you where you want. And it's all gonna depend on your car, your setup, your tuner. Uh, so your fuel? You, yeah, you could have a bad batch of E85 that's only 65%, and then your next one you get 85. So um, there, there's a lot of variables that not a lot of people realize. Yep, um, another thing for you flex fuel guys, like, Let's say um, you get your tune and you install your flex sensor, you get your flex tune from us. Um, you know, have it on your standard gasoline, you know, your premium fuel. Send us some scans, let's get the file dialed in. And then when the tuner's like, yeah, your, your tune is done, because we will tell you your tune is done. Um, then be like, hey, okay, I wanna switch over to flex fuel, can I send you one more scan? Please do. You know, run it down to fuel light and fill the thing to the brim with E85 or whatever blend your car requires for your mods. Yep. And then send us one more scan on, uh, you know, with ethanol in the tank. Okay, now let's say that your tune is done. Your next step will be stopping the scan and properly saving it. Mm -hmm. Number one, you hit the stop scanning button, boom. When you stop the scan, it auto saves the, the scan on the laptop. Now, just for simplicity, um, I'm going to click this save log file as. Click that and let's, let's just make it easy and save it to desktop. Just put your last name, scan one, I'm sure that works. Save it to desktop, done. Now you'll just go ahead, you'll open an email to me, hopefully the same chain that we already have going, and you'll be like, here's my first scan. And then you will just attach that attachment to the email and send it to me. Um, now, let's say you accidentally closed your scanner. Let's just close this. 
Let's just act like the scanner is totally closed. Let's reopen the scan. Now let's say you want to find that scan. You're going to go open log file. You're going to go to my documents, HP tuners, VCM scanner, logs, done. Notice that all these logs are by date. So today's date, the time, and the file size. You just click that, open. Now that's to open the file on the laptop. If you wanna email me that because you accidentally didn't save it on the desktop or somewhere easy, then you would just do the same thing. Open file, you know, my documents, HP tuners, VCM scanner, logs, and it's right there. That pretty much completes tuning. Um, but I do want to reiterate, like, your car will require more than one revision. Yeah. Like, you're going to get your base file, and I guarantee that you're going to at least get one more revision. But your tuner will say your tune is done when it's done. Keep Just keep sending us scans until we say Looks we don't like need these perfect. scans. Yep. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah, and, and another thing to think about is if you are out scanning and your car is misfiring during a pull. Don't continue to do pulls, you know. Let your car rest, send over the scan and be like, hey, something happened, I don't know what. Now we're not magicians, without the car here, we can't always figure it out, but there are many things that we can see. So if you're, if you're having any issues, say, I installed my E85 sensor and the car's acting funny. Send it over, take a small log, but if whatever your car is doing, take the scan of it doing that. Yep. Don't just say, hey, I uploaded your file. Things are acting funny now. You have the scanner, you have the tool. It's free to make logs. Plug it in, start the car. If it does it at startup, that's all we need. Send it over and Tim, Al, Matt, look at you taken care of. Yep. I think that about wraps it up. Anything it wraps it up. Perfect. We'll see you next guy. Next time. See Peace. ya.